And take four. I always love it when my alarms go off. Damn neighborhood cat. Anyway, folks, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. And this is another recipe video. It's going to be down below in the description. It is one of the six vegetables that the vineyard chicks where I get this sign out. Uh, I've gone slow and I hurt like hell. I did my 2.5 miles walking. You know, I got a lot of people who are retirees. Check out the Survival Seed Collab, the Vineyard Chicks. Go check out Rebel Canner. She's doing also the herb garden thing with uh, Bushcraft Family. That's Charles's channel. Grow a garden, save America. That's for the Vineyard Chicks. Uncle Alan's old, Uncle Alan's tired, Uncle Alan's grouchy. Alright? A lot of these ex-military ask me, what's your pace? What's your pace? And I'm kind of looking at them like I had six damn surgeries. I'm healing up. I It's like March the 12th or 22nd. I have to go to two doctors. And they're telling me, what's the pace? I know what the pace is. Okay? I only could do 230 with a cane. That's every 100 meters. I'm looking at them like, do you want me to smack you in the nuts with this? I swear to God, a lot of these idiots, because I, I'm doing also uh, let's see, uh, myths of prepping and survivalism. Okay, five big myths, and that's going to get you killed. I've been arguing with my other group. You, you know, a lot of prepper channels do the, they push these five myths. And I'm kind of looking at them. Don't play Batman. Don't play Rambo. Okay? If you were in the military, stay in the military. Don't do it in the civilian life. That's why I'm sticking more to cooking and uh, preparing uh, pantry and food. Because I've seen a lot of people and they're doing it all wrong. And they're going to get themselves killed. Okay. Uh... Uh, this is for Bunky and also Dr. Paula. It just is six of the vegetables we're going to be talking about in the survival seed category. All right. A lot of people don't know how to cook. They know how to open cans and they know how I follow a recipe. I swear to God, I need to smack some people in the head. Now, this is butternut squash bake. Okay? You beat three eggs. All right? Um, let's see. Uh, stir in a cup full of grated cheese of your choice. I like feta. A clove of garlic. A teaspoon of parsley. Two teaspoons if it's fresh. Okay? Uh, two tablespoons of uh, bell pepper. Finely chopped. Now, the recipe is down below in the description. Then add a slice of milk bread. Now, this is like you soak a piece of bread in milk. Okay? Uh, you add one eighth teaspoon of sweet marjoram. Okay? One eighth teaspoon. A tablespoon of olive oil. Um, dash or pinch of salt. Depends on you. Uh, to, um, and then you add to this, uh, to add to this is mashed butternut squash. I prefer baking it. Know how many people you're going to feed and then you bake it in the oven until soft. And then you uh, cool it and then you add it to the, uh, butternut squash bake. Okay. Bake in a baking pan at 400 degrees until golden brown. This serves four to six people. It's very filling. It's very nice. It has a nice crust. Uh, it's a good uh, starter dish. If you're doing Lent. Uh, I'm glad I was trying not to throw up. Uh, like I said. I have a lot of injuries. A lot of people are like, they're out of their bloody minds. Okay, that's why I'm doing cooking. Because a lot of you can't cook. 
Well, I opened this can and that can and voila. No, you're going to die. Okay, folks, remember, grow a garden, save America. Learn how to stockpile, process. That's canning, drying, salting, pickling, fermenting. I can't even look at people because a lot of them, you know, well, I freeze dry these meatballs. And I kind of looked at them like, I hope it's very lean because a lot of people are getting food poisoning. Okay? Oils do not freeze dry. I keep telling that to people when they kind of look at me. I don't understand, Uncle Al. I could dehydrate this. And I kind of look at them. You're going to get listeria. All right? I gave up on the defensive weapons because most people are total idiots. And you're going to shoot your eye out. Or shoot your foot. Or shoot your nads. Okay? Get a bicycle. Get spare tires. And they say, I could walk 40 miles. You're not 20 years old and not stupid. A lot of us are old and have injuries. I had one gentleman, ex-military, says, I could walk from here to next town over. That's 10 miles over rough terrain. I kind of looked at him. I say, okay, I'll meet you in the other town. Okay, on the hottest day, I say, see ya. He started walking. I just sat down quietly. Waited for the bus in 10 minutes, got on the bus, got off at my stop, pulled out my folding bike, and drove the rest of the way on the bike. Sat at a and waited about two hours, and he's coming in, going, <laughs> out of breath, out of shape, sunburned like hell. I gave him a, whatchamacallit, I'm calling some nice person, I gave him a frosty, root beer float, and he guzzled that down. And I said, uh, I've been waiting here for about two hours eating french fries, and I used my bike. What took you so long? And he said, you cheated, Uncle Al. You didn't walk. I'm not that stupid. All right? You have one set frame of mind. You do not think. And finally, after two more root beer floats, then it clicked in. Okay? A lot of people do not know how to think. Okay? You served in the military, you went to college, you got your degree, and still you can't think. All right? It's like a lot of people, I'm fleeing! And you see on the news, they have their little backpacks or they have their little carry-all, and they're fleeing to the border. Okay, like I said, Uncle Alan doesn't do that. Uncle Alan plans ahead. So remember, it's 2024 reality check. God bless and good luck. And I'll be seeing you. Enjoy the recipe down below in the description.